Direct Attention Thinking Tools, or its nickname DAT, is a series of 10 tools that direct our attention to a particular part of thinking. Now many of these, such as consequences and sequels, or aims, goals, and objectives, we might think that we do naturally anyway. The problem is, what is often thought to be natural is sometimes done poorly, uh, or isn't done at all. So we sometimes uh, make decisions uh, only to regret them into the future because we failed to do a CNS. Uh, another one of the uh, direct attention tools is PMI, or plus minus interesting. And when Dr. De Bono, the inventor of this system, asked some school children, let's do a PMI on removing the seats from a school bus, here's what happened. Several of the students under the plus said, boy, this would be great. You know, we could play together with our mates, we could run to different sides of the bus, we could have a very good time if there weren't any seats inside the school bus. When it came time to think about the minuses of the removal of seats from the school bus, the children said, well, goodness, if the bus driver uh, applied the brakes too quickly, we would all go flying forward and it would be very unsafe. And then De Bono said, what would be just the I, or what would be interesting about the removal of the seats from the school bus? And one of the students said, what do we do with all of the seats? And it's just that simple uh, question of asking ourselves, where does our thinking lead us? What's interesting about it uh, that we sometimes fail to do when we're looking at the pluses and minuses that adds a richness to our thinking? And it's this richness to our thinking that the direct attention thinking tools adds so that we can get far, far more from our perspectives. Thank you.